underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. He took a goal. Big left hand. Nice. Did you see that? There's that right hand he scores with. Wow, impact. Wow! He was able to... Cut after blocking that shot away. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. And his opponent got away. Line, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. <laughs> See the quick jabs. Those... Down. Work with the overhand right. Oh, you got money. And now he's targeting upstairs. <laughs> Turn to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ten clicks. What an exchange. Mayweather's putting forth a great combination there. This is the moment where the opportunities, opportunities not on the... He takes a shot and then commits the... Money's just being smart on the outside. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. What a big shot. Wow, he goes down again. This is gonna support the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four. It's over. Fight is over. Money's corner is already celebrating. His opponent. Bail of the tape for Arturo Gatti versus Floyd Mayweather at 140 pounds. Gatti is five years older at 33. Mayweather with a half inch arm length advantage. Or check it, a one inch arm length advantage and a half inch height advantage. They both weighed in at or within a pound of the 140 pound limit. We do not have their unofficial weights coming out of the, the dressing room tonight. He got the computer. Arturo did that's a boxer, which is not what he's used to doing. It may, it may cause a top score. A lot of people thinking that Mayweather can easily win a decision here with his hand speed and his boxing skills. What he's promising is a knockout an annihilation, an erasure, something which will embarrass Gaddy, after which he will party, as he says, on Gaddy's home turf. It's not about whether he wins or loses. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 139 pounds. Professional record, a perfect one. Consisting of 33 bouts, 33 victories with 22 knockouts. And he is rated by all as among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the challenger, former junior lightweight world champion, Former lightweight world champion, the undefeated Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with blue. A visual weight, 140 pounds. Professional record, 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with six defeats and two world titles. From Jersey City, New Jersey, the ultimate blood and guts warrior, two-time world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder. Remember what we talked about.
are scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Teddy, I know the situation we have in front of us, a fighter who has low stamina fighting a power puncher, and we know what can happen in the fight, but what can happen before he gets to this point to help him with a fight like this? Well, when you're training, let him go extra rounds. Let him understand that he does have the stamina. The mental part of boxing is 75%. Most guys, they have stamina, they just don't know it. Hook right on the belt line. Mayweather's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Up top with the right hand. Gaddy's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Doubling up that jab, it serves him well to the body. Able to cover up that gut. Still not moving enough. Ooh. Mayweather's hurt by a superb hook to the head. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good step back counter punch there. Blocks it away. Mayweather's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. That right hand serving him well. Mayweather's crushed by a huge uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. End of round one. Gaddy's got to wake up to range and use that jab as a finder. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Gaddy's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. A headshot blocked. And now he scores well with a straight right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Good right hand. Right to the belt line. Mayweather's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Gaddy's punches are way off the mark. 
He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Scatty's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Mayweather's nailed by a huge hook. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Wow, what an uppercut. Mayweather's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Plus shot, the left hand came in. We count down the final moments of this round. That's the kind of round that tells you. Mayweather's fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Mayweather's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Scanny's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Oh, good exchange there. He just missed that shot up top. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. He is stunned. He could go down. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. Mayweather's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Good exchange, he fires back. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Comes right back with some offense of his own. To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid uppercut. Mayweather's got a way of just getting away from that punch. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And that's the end of round three. Start of round number four. Mayweather's well-skilled plan has earned him every round on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, he hasn't always been the aggressor, but he's definitely been the more effective puncher, landing the clean shots. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. 
Now you're seeing the kind of mentality that's going to try to avoid that happening again. So, Teddy, it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're in the corner with him, you know what you tell him, Joe? You tell him, look, you're being tested now. I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be... Good power punch. The right hand landed. <laughs> Took a shot, now he gives a left. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Gaddy's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Gaddy's tagged. But well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Gaddy's crushed by that shot to the head. Showing you some defense there with the block. Gaddy's left, working well that time. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Turns over that hook upstairs. Gaddy's looking like the one thing you don't want your fighter to be, Teddy, and that is careless. Yeah, well, first of all, when you throw a jab, you throw it like you're testing hot water. Bang! You get it back just as fast as you throw it out. He's throwing it slow right now, and that's where the carelessness comes in. Something's going to come over that slow jab. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Mayweather's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Gaddy's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Ooh. He didn't see that left hand. Big shot. Wow. Thunder his right hand pours him. Trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. There's a good right hand. Right to the body. 
Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole, it was close. Gaddy's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found a target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. There you go. Gaddy's left, landing well. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. <laughs> Don't let him breathe. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Gaddy's quartermen did a really good job after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Scores with the uppercut. Gaddy's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing body. punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Back and forth exchange. Mayweather's on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep moving, keep moving. Really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. Mayweather's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying when people say, do you know what time it is? You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now that counter punch landed with some success Gaddy's right hand scores well very nice work from both men they each got a shot in three minutes gone by in this round two eyes right who's the good one Target, he lands a straight right. Wow, no doubt about it. Effective. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Gaddy's back up, but is he back in the fight? 
We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Gets rid of that body shot. Mayweather's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Gaddy's clearly affected oh, by that. Mayweather's doing really well on the outside. Big shot, the right came clean. Big shot there. How is this gonna go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref is stopping this fight. Gaddy's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. 